handle an extremely high viscosity silicone product in conjunction with a screw feeder manufactured by Doring. Judge the results for yourself. So thick, the, uh, the, the gentleman has to pull it out of the tank with his hands and put it into the uh, auger. product coming out. Oh, hey, hey. It's eight million centipoys. Dan was invited to run this test for sign pump because the leading brand of external circumferential piston pumps, better known as rotary lobe pumps, that Doring's customer had been using sheared the product so heavily that its temperature was increased almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the temperature increase using the sign pump? Well, let the customer tell you. Temperature uh, increases about four degrees, roughly. You can see we are pushing about 100 psi, with only about a three-foot section of pipe and one elbow. The pressure gauge is vibrating slightly because the operator is having a hard time supplying enough product to the feeder, which in turn is delivering pockets of air to the pump. Normally, the pulsation-free sign pump would leave the gauge totally still. Most processors would consider a product this viscous to be unpumpable, but that was before the sign pump came along. <laughs> Uh, temperature-wise, pumping this product is about two or three degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, is really negligible. And that is uh, due to the very low shear of the pump. The amperage pull on the motor was read at about 4.8 amps, uh, three-phase, 230 volt, which equates to about 1.2, 1.3 horsepower, which is a very small amount of horsepower for this uh, viscosity product. Amazing, but Dan wasn't quite through with the day's testing. In the following sequence, we see another difficult product combining...